All right, so we're now at the Mod Vans booth here at the expo, and we're joined by PJ. Yep, PJ. There you go. So PJ from Mod Vans. Are you one of the owners? I'm the CEO of Mod Vans. Um, okay. I am also the largest stockholder, but we do have quite a few investors. Awesome. About so 30, there you go. About 3,700 investors. So oh, I'm sweet. One of, one of 3,700 owners. Awesome. This whole van life thing is taking off. Uh, where are you guys based? We're based in Oxnard, California, 60 miles northwest of LA. Okay, cool. And what is the whole idea behind Mod Vans? Do I buy my van? And then buy components from you guys. Do you guys build it? What's the what's the idea? Where did it come sure. from? Sure. So we're work? actually an RV manufacturer. We have a okay. certification that allows us to offer RV financing and warranties. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you know, if it comes time to troubleshoot ownership issues down the road, we're, we're a real manufacturer. We are small. We're not quite the size of one of the giant RV makers yet. Right. And hopefully not quite as uh, jaded as maybe they are. Right. <laughs> but. Um, but so right now, um, in order to buy a vehicle from us, we're actually, normally we would buy um, Ford Transits. That's what we build on directly mm -hmm. from Ford, just like any other RV manufacturer, but right. Ford is not able to get us the Transits we need. Mm -hmm. So right now, um, at this show, what we're telling people is um, they can still place an order on our website. That's how we sell. You go to our mm -hmm. website and you can choose options. You can see all the pricing and then we'll help you find a transit. And we usually just find them at any Ford dealer kind of all over the U.S. right now. I see, right. About six months from now, we expect it to go back to normal. You'll actually be able to order the entire vehicle online. And then we are going to shows like this. Um, we have customers all over the U.S. so you can contact us and, and figure out how to get a demo if you want to see one in person. Oh, okay. Before, before you purchase online. Okay, so you would buy it online. You don't go through a dealer. Correct. Someone is buying yeah. from you guys. Yeah, okay. yeah. What's what's the price areas look like? I know you've got. I think uh, you, do you have price lists? Yeah, over there? So, so we have a, uh, price? a base price. Um, mm -hmm. So we actually have a pretty big range of prices because mm -hmm. um, we start off. It's a full featured RV, but mm -hmm. then you can just keep adding options. You can we're at the you know Overland Expo, so you can add a lot of off road options, and those mm -hmm. do stack up pretty quickly in yeah. price. But our um, base price on this model, which is our low roof transit. Right. So this um, is like a sports van. Yeah, yeah. This is a, yeah. so we made this as an SUV replacement, and mm -hmm. it has has like some off-road capabilities as mm -hmm. well. Base price on it is eighty-nine thousand. That includes the van. Mm -hmm. So and it's sold as an RV. Yeah. And then this one, as built, uh, is probably about one hundred twenty thousand because right. it has all-wheel drive, mm -hmm. has larger tires, a lift kit, awning, mm -hmm. has big bumpers, windows. And you guys do this pop-up and all of that stuff, right? Yeah, we make yeah. the pop-up tops in-house. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's our own design. Okay, cool. So um, obviously you have. So for someone who's looking for something different, I think a lot of like we have a Beyond right mm -hmm. from Coachman yeah. Yeah. and that's only in the big high roofs and Correct. they definitely don't have pop tops so you guys offer people a more flexible a set of options for what they're looking for and then also more affordable and then you can customize it a little bit to whoever yeah. you are and what you want to do with yeah it. I would say that's, that's a great way to put it so mm -hmm. and we have kind of this you could see right here so we have this high roof model mm -hmm. I would say this is more of a beyond competitor where mm -hmm. it's something that is it's 22 feet long, so it's not going to fit in every parking space. Mm -hmm. It is still pretty nimble compared mm -hmm. to maybe a Beyond, but still a large vehicle. Mm -hmm. Whereas we have this smaller one over here that is 20 feet long. Mm -hmm. uh, the pop-up top comes down. It's a low roof van. Yeah, so more aerodynamic. Yeah, so we yeah. really meant this to be um, a, a true SUV replacement. Yeah, you could get this in a in a covered parking lot. <laughs> uh, some covered parking, parking building. Lots. Yeah. And then also mm -hmm. we have, uh, they all come with two beds. And okay. they're usually big enough to sleep. Each bed can sleep two adults, so you can sleep four adults mm -hmm. total or you know two adults and yeah. kids okay and then uh, inside the seating system is modular and it's all captain's chairs real cushy but you can have up to seven seats inside so that's kind of another big difference whereas the Beyond's probably only gonna have two really comfortable traveling chairs and then you know, maybe a bench in the back yeah. or something like that oh, all, awesome. our, all ours are they all swivel they all slide they all mm -hmm. they all move around you could take them out if you don't need you them can, yeah yeah and then they have all the attachment points for child seats so this oh, is cool. meant to be you know a family vehicle kind of yeah. like the old conversion vans if you remember you look like yes I I had one. Yeah, we had one. For our, our kids, kids grew up with that. Yeah, yeah and we mm -hmm. loved it. And this is kind of just like the next level. It's like that plus. Imagine you have beds, right? Uh, rooftop AC, a furnace, a yeah. sink, a stove. So it's like, yeah, you roll up to a soccer match, 
baseball wherever you are and mm -hmm. one kid's playing mm -hmm. well the other kid maybe has to do homework mm -hmm. or they want to watch cartoons but they yeah have, or you're working yeah they yeah. have a great place to do that in. awesome yeah, and work is yeah, even today you know with everybody working from home mm -hmm. mobile, it, it, it's really uh, even more than back when mm -hmm. yeah that's when why the shortage is yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 exactly that as well yeah, as yeah, the yeah. chip thing yeah absolutely okay so we're gonna get someone else to give us the run through yes yeah, so our, the our chief engineer JT mm -hmm. he's gonna give you the walkthrough of, of all the models yeah. awesome thank you all right thank appreciate you. it thank okay you. All right, JT, you're up. You're up. Yeah, okay. All right. I'll give you a tour. Bienvenue. <laughs> Merci. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, JT, yeah. You, what do you do at ModVans? I'm the chief engineer. Chief engineer. Yeah. So, you're the guy that designs all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's Most all right. you. It's not all me. So, we have a, we do have a team of engineering. Um, okay. So, PJ is one of them. PJ has a software engineering yes. background. Oh, okay. And then we have another mechanical engineer with us. Um, okay. And then another guy just joined as well. So, okay. oh, and one more remote software engineer. So, it's five engineers. Over there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, I think you're going to give us a run through of the vans here. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, you guys probably have a multitude of options, right? So, uh, this is just an example of what you can get from mod vans. So, as an RV manufacturer, we build mm -hmm. three different models. Oh, three. Okay. Yeah. And we have them here today. So, I can walk you through all of them. Yeah. And then for each of them, we do have some options, yeah. Okay, all right. This one is built on a Ford Transit 148 low roof. Mm -hmm. That's what we call the CV1. Mm -hmm. And we've been building this one for a little bit over three years now. So, so this is kind of an evolution of the sports van that a lot of guys in this uh, started from. I was talking to the guy from Illumines, for example. That's yeah. what everyone was doing back in the days before van life really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's yeah, kind of like a modern Vespalia type of yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Um, so the, really the idea behind it, what we wanted to build is mm -hmm. a, a replacement for an SUV. Mm -hmm. So we want something that you can drive around every day, you can take your kids to the soccer game, mm -hmm. and then on the weekend if you want, you can go camping and have right. all the RV amenities in it. Okay. So, so this could be your one big vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's actually PJ's vehicle. You know, that's that's all they have. Okay. Um, so in this one, well, all the vans that we build, we have the same seating system. You can up, mm -hmm. up to seven seats total. Okay, so I'll go, I'll go in here. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Go check it out. So everything swivels and everything is removable. Is that how? Yeah, correct. Is that how this works? You yeah. Wanna, uh, so the whole conversion is removable. Mm -hmm. So you can remove the seats, you can remove the cabinets, you can get back down to a bare cargo van if you need. If you're working with it. Yeah, yeah. So it's, let's say Monday to Friday you work as a painter sure. or something like that or a landscaper. You could take all this stuff out. Yeah. And then the few times a year where, you, where the whole family goes on vacation, you can put everything back in and go on vacation. Yeah, correct. So yeah, the van will be totally empty, cargo, mm -hmm. you can haul around four by eight, you know, plywood, whatever you want. Okay. And then, yeah. yeah. Um, That's cool. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, we want to make it as modular as possible. So right now yeah. we only have two seats in it. Uh, so you will have the two beds, you know, one bed upstairs on those panels over there, mm -hmm. and then another one downstairs across, across this. Yeah, so okay. we're not showing it on this van, I'll show you in the mm -hmm. next one. Okay. Um, there's a Toilet in the back, outdoor shower in the back, um, 12 volt fridge is standard. We have an option for a microwave on the side over there. There's a propane tank somewhere, I'm assuming. Yeah, so we are mounting all the appliances under the van, mm -hmm. custom built aluminum. Oh, boxes, everything's under, okay. So that we can free up some space inside, especially when you want to take the cabinets out. Okay, how do you guys do the pop top? I think that would be like what a lot of people would worry about. Like if there's a pop top, do I have more likelihood of rain and stuff like that, you know, yeah. water seeping, yeah. seeping in? So, we build everything in-house, we do make the pop top, we have the mold, mm -hmm. it's fiberglass vacuum infusion, uh, really solid construction, mm -hmm. and then we have a super sturdy aluminum frame and aluminum lift mechanism. Okay. It's an, It's got two electric actuators, so it's just a push of a button. And know. it goes up? It goes up and down. Okay. Yeah. So, um, not having the, I don't know, does, does this van standard have crossbars going across it? For, yeah, yeah, from okay. the factory it does, so we, okay. we are cutting some of that structure off. Okay. And we mm -hmm. replace it with a custom welded, uh, super strong aluminum frame. Okay. It's hidden behind those panels. You can't oh, behind here. here. Okay, so it's reinforcing yeah. Yeah. what was there before. It's tied to the van structure itself. Okay, yeah. very cool. And the canvas is a marine grade canvas. Um, it's got that's, that's this stuff here. Uh, well, for the for the oh for this itself. for this is yeah. marine grade. Okay. Yeah, the interior is automotive grade. Um, yeah. 
I like the so if so when it's normal you you may uh, you're not actually able to stand up like this when this roof is down. Correct. It would be like yeah, it would be right here. here. But then once the roof is up, you've got like a ton ton of room in yeah, here. Yeah. I would say even more than I have in my high top uh, yeah, Ford van. Yeah. 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 Um, people like that because they're able to drive a smaller vehicle around town or they yeah. can keep it at their house if they have HOA restrictions right. and things like that. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And it can get into more parking parking uh, garages, Yeah. let's say. And I like the big open uh, windows. So right now we've got just the, the, the mesh, but all of these come down here. So it's a lot of light in here. Yeah. 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 We have the big opening windows, 360 windows on the top top. Mm -hmm. the, the van itself also has you know windows all around. So yeah. It's super bright. Yeah. Very yeah. Open space. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, how do these switches work? Uh, so, on that control panel, we have uh, everything we need to control all the systems of the van. Uh, so. Yeah, I see the, the Victron label. here. So yeah. you got. So this has a uh, lithium. Uh, this is one has a lithium? the standard battery, which is okay. AGM. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's AGM battery. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have the controls for the lights, the fridge, the propane, the water pump, cell okay. booster. Uh, the inverter for the furnace, a uh, couple of 110 volt outlets, and USB charger. Okay. Here, let's take a look outside, Lola. Go around. Watch your head. <laughs> Where are you going? Here. I'm just showing the other switches that are up here. Okay. And this one has okay, do you want me to take? Okay. quite Go a bit of customization options mm -hmm. on the outside. So mm -hmm. it has a two inch lift kit, bigger tires. And then okay. we've got some bumper accessories, so we've got a big cargo box in the back to okay. carry the dirty stuff, things like here's, that. Here's, this is the readout for this, if anyone wants to pause it here and take a look at it. Um, there's a Toyota Sequoia option. So we're doing a comparison here. Oh, you're comparing it to the yeah. Sequoia. Yeah, so because okay. we're RV manufacturer, you can get RV financing. Mm -hmm. and you can get uh, loans up to 20 years, which would give you uh, really affordable uh, mm -hmm. monthly payments, okay. less than the high-end SUV. Okay, yeah. awesome. All right. And then. So you've got some uh, boxes. Yeah. There's a ladder. In the back, we've got the bike carrier, and then the spare tire carrier with the ladder to go on the other door. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool! That's this just tilts out. Yeah. yeah. The outdoor shower is here on the right mm -hmm. side. Okay. Here's We've been on the road for over three weeks. For a while, so yeah. Got some stuff in there. No going home. No, no. no yeah. yeah. You guys were out at Overland Mountain. Yeah. So we did all of that yeah. this year, actually. We did. Yeah. Uh, the three Overlands, and we also did all the Adventure Van Expos. The weird, okay. I think six or seven of them. So oh. The the States. Oh, how were those? Good. Yeah, pretty fun. Yeah, it was super fun. Last week was Chattanooga. Chattanooga. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah, next time around, next year I'll do that. Yeah. So we've got a tire carrier out here. Uh, yeah. With with this roof down, can you sit on the roof? You can walk on the roof. Yeah. Okay. So um, when the roof is down, you can have 500 pounds extra cargo. Okay. Going down the street. On top of it. Okay. And then to lift, you can only have 100 pounds more. So, on there. Okay. Yeah. So you have to take whatever that is up there sure. off and lift yeah. it. Yeah. Some of it. Yeah. Awesome. Or we keep a kayak yeah. or something like that. Yeah. All right, so let's go on. What's this uh, uh, next one here? Yeah, I'll show you uh, the one on and the I other And I noticed this has a big bump out here yeah. on the side. Yeah. That's cool. So you we make that in-house, yeah. You do? Oh, yeah. okay. So we wanted to have a big bump out to have a queen-size bed inside mm -hmm. and, you know, bring more space and also be able to fit, like, big OEM windows on it. Oh, yeah. cool. So we designed this unit. Yeah, that's something you don't see everywhere. Can we, can yeah. you want to take a look at that, Lola? Look out for the mud. So is this structure built of fiberglass or is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. so it's vacuum fusion fiberglass as well. Um, okay. Yeah, check that out. I mean, that thing is like, yeah. that's big. Yeah. Two fists. So that's how we get the queen size inside. Oh, awesome. Very cool. And then the windows open here, I'm taking it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this one has four opening windows. Oh. And then mm -hmm. they also have screens. You can open the screen as well. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Let's, while we're out here, what do we have on the outside here? Uh, we got a lot going on on the outside here. Yeah, this thing is fully equipped, spare tire. Yeah, so super overland. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So yeah, spare tires, some tools, um, spare gas, box. massive box. Yeah, yeah everybody yeah. loves that box. Everybody wants it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's nice to keep all your dirty stuff, the Dutch yeah. oven, whatever. Like, you know, right. yeah. if you need a can. Yeah, I love uh, that yeah. box size. That's awesome. Yeah. So who makes this? Um, we do. Yeah, we make oh. all that stuff. Yeah, cool. everything oh, okay. that's orange, we we made. So if let's say I have a, a van already and I wanted to buy that box from you, could I? No, you can't. Can't. Okay. Yeah. So I we have don't to sell. Be building a van. Yeah, we don't sell accessories. We only build, you know, full yeah. vans, full okay. RVs. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. So this van is all-wheel drive, um, and most of what we build uh, mm -hmm. will be all-wheel drive. A lot of customers choose it. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much 98% is like all-wheel drive EcoBoost. Okay. Um, we'll also have a yeah. bunch of nice options on the chassis. Um, mm -hmm. Adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist. Yes, yeah, the these are awesome, man. Yeah, They're great. Yeah. They're fantastic to yeah. drive. Yeah, uh, these are actually our vehicles, so we do drive them all okay. the time. We cool. use them all the time. So this is so also your bumper here. Uh, we don't make that. Oh, no. you don't? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Guys, next to Aluminus makes that. Oh, Aluminus. This is the Aluminus bumper. Yeah, it's awesome. The Baja bumper. Baja. Okay. Very cool. So let's. Uh, should we go in here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this one is one we call the H1. So, you, so it's a bigger chassis. This one's 22 feet long. Yeah. Uh, it's a high roof as well. This is pretty cool in it's here. Still got a pop top. Yeah, come in, Lola. Here, I'll grab that. The layout is totally different. Yeah. Yeah. So feel free to step inside. Um, again, we can still have the same seating system, where you can have up to five seats here. Right. Okay. If we were to remove this cabinet, you could mm -hmm. have two more. Okay. Um, so these are the regular two seats up here. You could do two more here, yeah. and you could do again. Two. Yeah. So we do. We can do three and two. Three and two yeah, here, so if you wanted seven to. Seven total. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, yeah. So the whole family can come. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 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 So this one has a lot more standing room. Everything in general is a little bit larger in this van. Mm -hmm. So the bed in the back, like we've mentioned, is a queen size, mm -hmm. sideways. Uh, the one upstairs is a full XL that's 54 by 80. Mm -hmm. This that's one has a. That's the one in the pop up. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one has a indoor shower. Toilet, that's what we call the semi dry. So, that's what's going on here, yeah. Okay, and then actually, this whole cabinet comes, comes down. down and becomes a counter space, and then the van is totally open. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have anything like floor to ceiling, the, it feels like you know, yeah, pretty. So, this one can sleep about how many people? You'd sleep four really comfortably four, yeah. for adults, two here, two up here. Yeah. Here, I could show that real quick, Lola, if then, you want to. We could just show folks what's going on up here. Yeah, so up there, there's a yeah, so there you go. Yeah, big so panoramic. Yeah, that's um, pretty big here. Popped up up there. Yeah. So you can have everything. They say you can't necessarily have everything, but it looks like this, and this you can. Uh, what's going on here? Is this the fridge? That's the fridge over there, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so slide out fridge. Slide out fridge. Very nice. You've got a three burner. Yeah, with the and, stove in it. Yeah, it yeah. Sink. This is like a full, you can actually. Yeah, we've got a full stove in it. Yeah, this is a full house. <laughs> oh, oven and all. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. A big sink. Mm -hmm. uh, big bed back here. What are these uh, What are these things? Uh, soft bag storage, I... so we keep our clothes in there. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, yeah. so we can put them on either side. We have some longer ones as well if you need extra storage. Mm -hmm. And then while you're over there, you can actually peek in the bathroom. Oh, so, I see. Wow, that's a big, that's actually a pretty big shower. And then you'll see the toilet comes out over there. So when you want to use it, uh, you slide the toilet out. Yeah. And then when you're oh, you can, you actually put it away. So you get more room inside because yeah. the uh, toilet's put away. This is awesome. <laughs> what does something like this uh, cost? So the base price of this model is 115000 mm -hmm. That will be on a rear wheel drive chassis. Mm -hmm. naturally aspirated engine mm -hmm. um, this one as it stands it's probably closer to like 135 or 140 mm -hmm. uh, the chassis has all-wheel drive eco boost mm -hmm. and a bunch of options yeah and then on the conversion we've seen the boxes off road mm -hmm. things that's optional mm -hmm. uh, right the awning outside is optional as a comparison like we have um our beyond mm -hmm. which was the full size van with yeah. all-wheel drive and all that yeah. i think that was maybe like sixty-five thousand, but by the time it was built up by Coachman, and we bought it maybe one fifty. So yeah. something like this is still a really good price if you compare it, and then you get a lot more 
in terms of flexibility and all sure. that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we still have a modular conversion here where you can take the seats out, the mm -hmm. cabinets out. Yeah. Everything in the van still comes out pretty easily. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you could configure it the way you want. Yeah. We have families, you know, sometimes want to travel just two of them or sometimes mm -hmm. have friends or, you know, kids coming with yeah. them so they have seats and stuff. You know. Yeah, this is really cool. <laughs> Thanks. I, I enjoy this one. This is, uh, just from looking at it, this is what I could see myself getting easily. Yeah. And it's the same kind of RV financing, like you're saying. Now everything switches in here, right? Yeah. So yeah. I see you've got some switches here, switches here. Is this one lithium or also AGM? Uh, this one is still AGM. We okay. We have a few uh, lithium battery upgrades. Mm -hmm. The first one would be 500 amp hours of lithium. Okay. Um, and that will allow us to run the AC. Uh, so we do have mm -hmm. a 12 volt AC unit that we can run for 10 hours with that battery system. Okay. And then we have even larger battery systems, which we call the X-Series, and that will give you 1,000 or 2,000 amp hours of lithium. Wow. Yeah. So let's say you go all the way up to 2,000 amp yeah. hours, all the hours. What are you looking at? Because I know obviously that's going to add some, add to the price. Yeah, it definitely adds up to the price. So mm -hmm. on this unit, with uh, the 2,000 amp hour, you'd be closer to probably like 175, 180. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and that's still pretty good. Sure, and then at that yeah. point, all the systems become electric. Mm -hmm. So it's 12 volt AC, 12 mm -hmm. volt furnace, induction mm -hmm. stove top, uh, 12 volt water heater, all that right. stuff. Yeah, to make it more yeah. efficient. And then all the systems are computer controlled, so we get rid of the uh, control oh, panel. Oh, so we get control, okay. It's all on a tablet. Everything mm -hmm. is uh, integrated, so we have temperature sensors everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's you know, there's no. Is more that an in-house tablet for you guys, or is it like a Firefly system? Or something? No, we make everything. We develop our own computer, own system, uh -huh. own battery management. So, okay. Yeah. Is that tablet sitting in a place, or you can move the tablet it around? It moves around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, I didn't see the AC unit in here. Now that you mentioned it. Yeah. Where yeah. So the this van does not have an AC oh, right okay. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to put it in my van. Okay. But it would be in the back over there, over the bed. Over the oh, bed. okay. Yeah. Over the yeah. bed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other vans have the ACs on the pop top. Right. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. This is your personal yeah. van. Yeah. This yeah. one's mine. Yeah. 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 So it, um, I don't know if we can, if we can take a look at what's in the back. We did see the back from the outside. Yeah. It's pretty messy. Though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty. And this on, this awning is something that you guys have. Is it proprietary? Was uh, it no. Oh, that's optional. That's yeah, not only we can install the uh, vendor. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. We use the. Yeah. 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 People get super passionate about this. It's a little wider. Sensors mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. LEDs. Mm -hmm. And these are your comparisons to other models on the phone. Yeah, yeah. What's on the market? I'll show you the back here where we yeah. can uh, call the garage, which. Right. The garage is in the garage. <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot of stuff right now. But. So this is the fridge cabinet. So you saw the fridge on the other right. side, the drawer. Okay, this is a pretty big garage yeah. back here, yeah. Yeah, and then this is 34 inches, so you can fit 29 inch mountain bags with removing the front wheel. So um, do you live do you live in this full time? No, I don't live in it full time, but okay. definitely every weekend and mm -hmm. when we're on the road like that. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Awesome, this is pretty cool. So. And, and what do you have up on the roof here? So on top of the pop top, we have some solar panels, there's 510 watts of solar okay. up there. And then behind it, it's just that little rack to support some lights and yeah. some booster stuff. I mean, but you have a lot of storage here, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't really need to store anything on the roof. Yeah. It's pretty high anyway already, so. Yeah. And then what do you guys have for the windows back here? Do you have some kind of uh, like reflectors? Or? Uh, we don't do anything in house. There mm -hmm. are multiple companies who provide uh, transit options uh, mm -hmm. down the river and a, a yeah. few other ones. So yeah. for you, you don't you don't need anything back here, right? No, we don't do anything yeah. for that. You yeah. don't do. Okay. Yeah. 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 See so yeah. you. Okay. Cool. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. I don't know if we can see what exactly is stored in here, but watch in the hands. box. Yeah. Yeah, you can check out the box. Okay. This is the biggest box I've seen <laughs> on a van. So, yeah, I'll yeah. keep uh, my camp chairs, the leveling blocks, Dutch mm -hmm. oven that's always dirty and kind of smells a bit, mm -hmm. tools, you know, holes, whatever. Mm -hmm. Stuff I need at the campsite when it gets yeah. late. And yeah. We should have a little light so we can kind of see what we're doing yeah. at cool. night. Yeah. This is awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Frees up that's a cool. bit of space inside, too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, and so now what are we looking at here? Okay, so the third one is uh, the CV1N, so that's the medium roof. 
It's going to be very similar to the first one we looked at, mm -hmm. uh, but the height is a little bit taller now. Okay. Yeah. So pretty much the same thing. So one thing I see here that's different that we could maybe talk about. Can I open this door? Sure. Yeah. So there's a there's a bed situation right here. Yeah. Check that out, Lola. What is this? So that's an inflatable uh, mattress solution that we have for yeah. smaller person or kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so the way we have this van set up right now is to mm -hmm. carry a bunch of people. So mm -hmm. we have six seats, so four seats in the back. We could have one more, but we wanted to kind of show mm -hmm. um, families or people who are looking mm -hmm. for more than you know the honeymoon van, yeah. more than that. Yeah. What it would look like. Right. Um, so the bed is set up in the back. Mm -hmm. That's six feet by four feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the one you get that from. Uh, I brought my case right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it'll, it'll go, go way faster than additional writing. Yeah. Yeah. You could probably fit four adults and maybe one kid or something like there. that. Yeah. So is that something you guys make or is that something you bought? No, we don't make it. Yeah, we get okay. it from a vendor as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is that if you don't mind me asking? Um, I think the vendor's Amazing Auto LLC. Yeah. Amazing Auto? Okay. Yeah. They make yeah. They make swivels and things like that. Um, I think yeah. they make uh, storage bags. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Thing. They also have a wider one, which you can use in between those seats here. And between these two seats. Yeah. Yeah, if that's you really swivel cool. Swivel the fronts. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Lola's looking at me like, no, I'm not gonna sleep on that thing. <laughs> I don't even know why you're looking at it. Yeah. Awesome. But so yeah, in this one you can actually, you know, some people can stand up under the bed panel, so you do have room. Yeah. To mm -hmm. Around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, let me show the. Uh, yeah, the puffed up. Yeah. Right. Lots of room up here. So, and then you guys move some stuff up here, but when you're actually driving, you take those things. There's nothing stored up here, right? Uh, you can keep the bedding, but nothing else. Okay. And then here's the AC on this one. Is this a 12 volt? This one is a 110. But we 110. Have options, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, same switch setup. So you guys can um, take a look. And then this one just has more seats, like you're saying. Yeah, correct. Okay. And again, everything is modular. Mm -hmm. So you can take the seats app, you can take the cabinets app. Mm -hmm. It really depends on how you want to use your vehicle. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Let me just get the name of this one. All right, what's the name? Oh, you want to get this stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the CV1M. Should we take a look at it on this side? I don't know, yeah. Yeah, you can check out the back of it. Yeah. It's not as crowded. Yeah. Compared to the Sequoia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this thing right here. So someone looks like someone has that power board here. Yeah. Here's the toilet, shower. Yeah, we have different options for the toilet as well. That's yeah. a regular cassette. Okay. We can feed a dry flush or mm -hmm. compost toilet. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an optional microwave. Yeah, I see the microwave there. So you could probably get a convection oven in this if you wanted to. Yeah, it probably was it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then is this storage here? Yeah. I won't open it, but sure. so yeah, storage here and here. And yeah. it looks like the fridge is under here. Correct, yeah. Yeah. So the, the lower part of this cabinet is the water tank. That's mm -hmm. where we have the 25 gallons. Mm -hmm. um, so we keep it inside the van so it doesn't mm -hmm. freeze. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a bunch of storage here. And then yeah. more storage on this cabinet as well. Yeah. yeah. These are pretty cool. So, okay, just to wrap this up, if someone out there want, is looking at this yeah. and they're like, yeah, I want to go and get a, a mod van, what do they do? The best thing is to go to the website. So you can actually order online on the website. Okay. We sell direct, we don't have any dealers. Mm -hmm. So on the website, you can place an order mm -hmm. um, and then reach out to the sales team Mm -hmm. Right now it's a bit challenging to find a chassis, yeah, so the sales team right. will help you okay. find a chassis. You can tell them, hey, I'm interested in a medium roof, you know, I kind of want this and this options. Mm -hmm. And then this process starts from there. Okay. And then we'll find a chassis, put it in the build queue and you know, mm -hmm. give you a date and right. come and pick up your van. Free to get built. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Great. Thanks so much. Yeah, I thank appreciate you. For your you. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks.